Robert Kahn's Tagebuch im Tönen, or Musical Diary, was begun in the late 1930s, around the time the composer left Germany and came to Britain. Living in Kent, he continued this diary until his death in the early 50s, leaving us a legacy of over 1,100 short piano pieces. Surely a life's work for any willing and able pianist to play. On this recording, I've obviously only chosen a small sample from the Tagebuch. But I find these pieces particularly beautifully crafted. They are for sure disciplined and concise, but I would also say intimate and often deeply personal pieces. They remind me in that respect of the late piano music of Johannes Brahms and also of the miniature piano cycle of Max Reger entitled Träume am Kamin. Naturally, by the time these pieces were composed, musical fashions had shifted considerably from those that Kahn would have known and worked within in Germany during the late part of the 19th century. Musical romanticism had become by now viewed as old-fashioned, escapist illusion, if you like, after the horrors of the First World War. The composers of the Second Viennese School, Arnold Schoenberg, Alban Berg and Anton Webern, were already well known. But for Robert Kahn, I suppose, a composer born in 1865, only a year after Richard Strauss, these pieces are really a mature take on his romantic style, that which he spent his whole life working in. So these short pieces are not revolutionary or provocative in any sense, uh, but they are touching, honest, nostalgic sometimes, windows onto a bygone era. In our age of musical discovery and rediscovery, I think Robert Kahn's story deserves to be heard, and these unpublished piano pieces are a very nice way of leading us into that story. So I hope you will enjoy them. <laughs> 